All right, my next guests are a sister duo nominated for their first Juno this weekend. Welcome, Love Clyde. Thank, Thank you. you. Glad so to be here. This is a big deal. Congratulations. Yes. Thank hey. you. How did you find out? Oh, gosh. How did we find out? I yeah. think our, our mother found out. And then she screenshotted everything and was like, oh, my gosh, congratulations. Yeah. This is such a big deal. And we were so, in separate places. Yep. So we, we were, were just, I don't, I don't even remember where it was, but it, it was such a blur, so yeah. exciting. Yeah, and you're up against some big acts. Yeah. yeah. So what's that like? Honestly, it's just an honor to be nominated. Yeah. yeah. Um, so <laughs> that in and of itself, no matter like who wins, it's just, I feel like you win <laughs> when you are nominated. Totally, so, yeah. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's just an honor. It's mind blowing to think that like we're here, you know, we've been doing this for a while now, but um, at the same time, it feels like it all went by so fast. Mm. Yeah, um, it does. Because we were singing in our hairbrushes, like we were sisters and when we were little girls. And so this is something we dreamed about. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I was reading off your website and uh, called, um, trying to find it, Pop forward or forward pop yeah. is kind of what you're called. So it's pop. What like what does that mean? I think whenever we were writing whatever yeah, like on our website, we were just meant, you know, like pop forward meaning like um Chris, like we we didn't want to just do normal contemporary Christian pop. Okay. Um we were wanting to do more like mainstream pop but with Christian message. I feel like that's a better so way to we say just, it. Like Current, like top four. No, like, top, you know? Yeah, so it's we were just idea. like pushing it forward. Right. You know? And so why, I mean, you could sing about anything. Yeah. Well, why choose to have faith-based lyrics? Well, yeah, you're right. We can write about everything. And we, we do, do write yeah. about other stuff as well. On the album, we do. Yeah, even on the album, we talk about other stuff that's not even just, not just our relationship with God mm -hmm. or our experience, you know, our faith. Um, but the reason why we choose to, to express our, our faith and things that we go through in our spiritual life and um, is because it is such a huge part of who we are. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a huge part of our life journey experience. Mm. Um, and so much of life is the ups and downs. And um, I know myself, whenever I'm like going through stuff, you know, I'm calling out to God, but I'm also journaling. So I feel yeah. like my most artistic time is when I'm like, um, in my most spiritual self yeah. too, you know? So I just we, feel like it's natural. We believe in an extraordinary life mm. and you know, uh, God is extraordinary. He's, he's what created all the extraordinary things. He is the creator of all things. So mm -hmm. um, we just wanna bring that to other people and we feel like the best way to live an extraordinary, extraordinary life is to experience an extraordinary God, yeah. mm. God who gives that life. How did you encounter that extraordinary God? That's a good question. <laughs> well, yeah. Separately, I guess, I mean, different stories, right? Yeah, I mean, actually the first thing that came to my head, and I don't know if we haven't shared this in a long time, but basically um, I was seven and she was four the first time that we went on a missions trip with yeah. our family. We went to oh. Kenya. Um, that's just the first thing that popped into my head yeah. when you asked that question. Um, and I, we used to say that um, a lot of the times growing up in this culture and um, be, having advantage and um, seeing uh, all the different things that are like right in front of us, being in Kenya and being in places where things are not mm -hmm. great for everybody. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of poverty. And um, so we were so young that we saw that, uh, we basically said that our eyes weren't able to be shut, right? You know, yeah. some people are shut and then their eyes are opened when they go yeah. to third world countries. Well, ours just were never able to, to be shut. You know, we just went at a young age. And I think that like opened us up to um, God is so much bigger than right outside of our door and our mm -hmm. church and our community. It's um, God is huge. And there's so much for every single person, people all the way across the world yeah. and people next door. Everybody has like this, this amazing, beautiful calling. Uh, and so we, we know that God is a God of creativity. Yeah. He's yeah. an extraordinary God because all of us are so creative and, and so different. different. Yeah. So he's gotta be even more. Yeah, how about you, Brooke? I mean, that was a great answer, honestly. I yeah. mean, we have our own separate, like, coming to Jesus moments, yeah. but that was a great answer just in general. I think, like, seeing the difference in people and mm -hmm. knowing that the fact that God could be so detailed. Mm -hmm. Like, how, how detailed then are we that he created us in likeness? Um, to him and it's just like, it's just such a cool moment whenever we got to see all that. And even in our heritage, yeah. you know, Native American and mm -hmm. um, you know, that just knowing and seeing all the different cultures in the world. Mm. And that's just such an extraordinary thing. Tell me about that, being, in, having indigenous background yeah. and 
you know, being forefront in just the industry. You're two beautiful women who are able to share God's love and also represent your culture. Is yeah. that important to you? Oh, definitely. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think it's a, our like two main things yeah. that we're really passionate about and we have several other things we're passionate about. We're passionate uh, girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very passionate. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something we are, um, we're driven about. So we were able to have a show actually on our reservation and you know, as you know, we do Christian music yeah. and um, there isn't, there's one church on the res um, and that's awesome, but it's like a little tiny church and um, things are growing yeah. uh, on the reservation, not just ours, but others as well. And um, people are looking for hope. You know, yeah. people are looking for peace and joy and um, they're looking for an answer. And the thing is like, we, we, we have that. Yeah. And so yeah. we want to share that. And we're also really proud and very, um, yeah, we're, we're really proud of our heritage. Mm. And so we, we and don't want, we want to bring people together and, and, no more division. You yeah. Know I mean? And so, and they're proud of us. Life. Like yeah. they've been super oh, yeah. supportive exactly. of us and our music. So it's been super amazing. Just the community that is truly there. Mm. Um, and we're just wanting to bring awareness also just to the natives, to yeah. to the indigenous people, yeah. to know that we're not extinct. You know, yeah. we're not mythical creatures. Yeah. We're here and we need to be heard. And doing amazing things. Okay. So tell me about Undeniable. Yeah. It's on your new album. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be singing in a couple seconds. Yeah. Who wants to tell me about this song? Go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we wrote this um, as a worship song. All of our other songs on our album are our experiences in life. Mm -hmm. And this song is all about God yeah. and who he is and his worship. majesty and how just crazy awesome he is. Um, we knew that that is what we wanted to convey, especially just on one song where we could just be flat out just um, glorifying him and his, his majesty. All right, well, I'm gonna send you off to okay. get ready to sing Perfect. this great song from their new album, Tired of Basic. Here is Undeniable.